to interrupt you right now. Sorry. Richard Hack, thank you very much. We appreciate the book is called Hughes. We want to go live right now and show you a picture of the World Trade Center where I understand, do we have it? No, we do not. We have a breaking story though. We're going to come back with that in just a moment. First, this is today on NBC. <laughs> mentioned we have a breaking news story to tell you about apparently a plane has just crashed into the World Trade Center here in New York City it happened just a few moments ago apparently we have very little information available at this point in time but on the phone we do have Jennifer Oberstein who apparently witnessed this event Jennifer can you hear me hello hi Jennifer hi Katie hi can you please tell me what you saw and to give me any information about what's going on there yes I have to tell you um, it's, it's quite terrifying. I'm in shock right now. I came out of the subway at Bowling Green. I was heading to work in Battery Park at the Ritz Carlton Hotel, and I come out and it, I saw a big, I heard a boom looked up and there was a big ball of fire. I'm now looking north at the World Trade Center, and it is the left twin tower if I'm looking north. I'm in Battery Park right now, and you can hear the fire engines and the emergency and emergency crews behind me. And it is unbelievable when the fire first burst, it was a Hello? Go yes, ahead. Go we ahead. can hear you. In air like I've never seen before. Um, and I, as you know, I used to work in news. I've never seen any fire like this in the air. And the pieces of the building were flying down. It looks like it's the, it's like the top, I can't even tell you, maybe 20 floors. Intense smoke. It's, it's horrible. It's, I, I, I can't even describe it. Do you have any idea what kind of plane it was? I'm sorry? Do you have any idea what hit the World Trade Center? what it was? Yeah, what kind of plane? We're getting reports that an airplane hit the building. Oh, it was, I, I didn't even know that. Honestly, I was walking up and it looked up and saw a big boom and fire. You know, I got to tell you, we were all saying around here that it was very interesting that it would be a bomb and it would be so high up. So it, perhaps, it, perhaps it was a plane. We have no no talk of a plane. However, I have to tell you, there's still, there's still things flying in the air. I mean, it it's mind-boggling and it was it's horrifying. Jennifer, it's Matt Lauer. I, I'd like to ask you, while you were close to the building, or, or have you, since the explosion, seen anyone who's been injured being taken out of the building? Are there ambulances dealing with people on the sidewalk around the building? No, I have not. I, I have not gotten that close. I have to tell you that my father works in the World Financial Center, and I first called over there to see, because it's next door, to see, you know, if, if he was okay. I couldn't get through. and. I'm far away right now. I thought it might be a little dangerous to get too close. I saw lots of lots of debris coming down, and right now I'm in Battery Park. I don't know, you know, it's it's only it's probably a five minute walk from here to the World Trade Center, but the smoke is incredible. I mean, I can't see the top of the tower, and it's starting to cover the top of the second tower. In fact, we're looking at pictures right now, Jennifer, with a huge gaping hole on the side of the building and billowing smoke. So I'm right now. You see, yeah, I'm. I think. I, I see major fire. I definitely see fire. Um, and Je Jennifer, you said you're looking north of the building. So in other words, you're south of the building. Yes, is that right? Yes, correct. Be because we're looking at a picture that is looking at the north side of the uh, building. I'm on the exact opposite side. And, and it appears that is where the largest hole is. And again, as you mentioned correctly, toward the top of the building, but on the north side. And then on the, what I think is the west side of the building, we can also see some holes there that could have been from damage once the impact occurred. Again, we've been told that this is a plane. We don't have confirmation on that, but there is an enormous hole in the north side of that building. Jennifer, can you tell us a little bit more about what you heard when you heard this explosion? Describe it for us. Absolutely. When I uh, walked out of the subway, I looked at the Twin Towers because I mean, I just always look up there, and uh, right when I looked up, there was a boom. It wasn't, it wasn't that loud. Like, it wasn't huge. However, what was unbelievable was the amount of fire. It was a big ball of fire that just went up. And, and I, looked, I looked around at people. We were all horrified. I, I, I'm stuttering because I'm, I'm in such shock. I've never seen anything like it. It's just horrible.
And of course, this is real cause for concern because the World Trade Center is one of the busiest office buildings here in New York with hundreds, perhaps thousands of, of workers who... The New York who, State Governor has his office, the oh, New York right. City office there. Several and so, thousand And of workers. course, given the time that this has happened, uh, it's only probably appropriate to surmise that people might have been in the building. And, and you know, we, we've seen stories in the past where planes have hit buildings, small planes, and it would be hard to imagine that a small plane could create that kind of hole in a building like the World Trade Center and create the damage on the other side of the building from the sheer impact. Small, small planes tend to crumple and then fall down the building. Again, we haven't talked to anyone who's close to the base of the building, so we don't know what kind of debris or wreckage. Yes, go ahead, Jennifer. I'm sorry. I'm just talking to a police officer right here, and he says, yes, he heard it was a plane. Does he have any information about what kind of plane it was, or does he? can he tell us any more details? Yes. May I, may I, I'm going to put you on hold for one moment, okay? Just to recap, if you're just joining us, you're looking at dramatic pictures of New York's World Trade Center in Lower Manhattan, where a short time ago we are told that a plane crashed into the upper floors of the westernmost tower. You can see a gaping hole. That is on the north side of the building, and you can see residual damage on the west side of that building, and obviously fires are burning right now in the World Trade Center. Tall buildings have had a real problem here in New York. There was, back in the 40s, a plane hit the Empire State Building. In the 60s, a helicopter crashed at the, on the top of what was the Pan Am Building, now the MetLife Building. So uh, Right now we're getting information, Al, that it was a small commuter plane. And of course, we'll let people know as soon as we have more information as to what actually caused this. And of course, on everybody's mind, who was yeah. might have been hurt as a result of, the, of this terrible, terrible incident. We're going to be talking to more eyewitnesses coming up in just a few minutes. We are back at 9 o'clock Eastern time on this Tuesday morning, and we're back with dramatic pictures of an accident that has happened just a short time ago. You're looking at the World Trade Center in Lower Manhattan, where just a few minutes ago we're told that a plane, some reports are that it was a small commuter plane, crashed into the upper floors of one of the Twin Towers. You can see fire and flames or smoke billowing from that tower. There is a gaping hole on the north side of the building. That's the side you're seeing to the left-hand side of your screen right now. And other damage to the west side of that building, which is to the right side of your screen. This, of course, happened just before the morning commute, before people were heading into their offices. And while I'm sure some people were already at work, immediately there's speculation or cause for concern. This is the World Trade Center that was the center of a terrorist bombing right. some years ago. So the questions have to be asked, was this a purely an accident or could this have been an intentional act? But either way, extensive damage has been done to this building. It also looks like there's smoke coming out of the east side of the building. That shot we just saw looks like white smoke billowing out the side of the east side of the building. Obviously, horrified commuters were, were absolutely devastated when they heard this explosion. We talked with somebody a moment ago about that, Jennifer Oberstein, and also another eyewitness, Elliot Walker, who is actually a producer here on the Today Show. Elliot, can you hear me? Yes, hi, Katie. Hi, Elliot. Tell me where you are and what you saw. Well, I live in this area. I've returned to my apartment, but I was walking down the sidewalk delivering my young daughter to school, and uh, we heard a very loud um, sound, the kind of sound you hear when a plane is, is uh, you know, going fast past you. Mm followed by an enormous crash um, and an immediate explosion. Um, I don't think we could feel shockwaves, but we, we sort of felt like we did. And we were in a position where we could see um, the Trade Center almost immediately between the other buildings. Um, and an enormous fireball that must have been 300 feet across was visible immediately. Um, a secondary explosion, I think, and then plumes of smoke. There must, be, there must have been a three block cloud of, of white smoke. Now, from where I was on the street a moment ago, you can, in fact, see smoke leaving the building on three sides. It seems to be coming out on at least four or five floors. Um, the air is filled with hundreds of thousands of pieces of paper that are just sort of floating like confetti. Um, the area is swarmed with emergency vehicles um, and sirens. Have you Obviously, seen we're very sensitive to this kind of thing in this neighborhood. Elliot, have you, of course, because of the incident that occurred in the early 1990s, have you seen any, any 
evidence, Elliot, of, of people being taken out of the building? At, you say that emergency vehicles are there, understandably so, but of course the major concern is human oh loss. I mean, do you know if there were many people in the building? Oh, another time? one just hit. Something else just hit. A very large plane just oh, flew directly over my building, and there's been another collision. Can you see it? I yes. can see yes. it on the shot. Oh, my. Something you, else has you just... You know what? We that just saw a plane like circling the building. It is in the other building. We just saw a plane circling the building a second ago on the shot right before I that. I think there may have been another impact. Can you tell? I just heard another very loud bang and a very large plane that might have been a... DC-9 or a 747 just flew past my window, and I think it may have hit the Trade Center uh, again. To be, to be honest, Elliot, I didn't, I didn't get the impression that it was that big a plane. It looks big from here. I did see a plane go by a second ago, though, and it, it, it has now impacted the building. I'm yeah. trying to see if it's the different tower. Yeah, I it think is. it it's may have been. I believe tower. the first one was World Trade Center 1, and it looks, from what I'm seeing on the television, like it may have been We're the second see, building. This is a piece of tape. And we may actually see another plane enter the picture here in a second. I wonder if there are air traffic control problems. Let's go back to Jennifer Oberstein, who was talking to a second ago. Jennifer, did you see this happen? Hello? Did Jennifer? you just see this happen, Jennifer? Matt, I, I'm, I've never seen any... It looks like a movie. I saw a large plane, like a jet, go immediately headed directly into the World Trade Center. It, it just flew into it, into the, into the other tower coming from south to north. I watched the plane fly into the World Trade Center. It was a jet. It was a very large plane. It was going fast. It went past the Ritz Carlton Hotel that's being built in Battery Park. It went, flew right past it, almost hit it, and then went in. This is so shocking, of course, to everybody watching. I, I've never seen anything like it. It literally blew itself into World Trade Center. Obviously, now we, we move from what, what appears to have... There it is right there. Again, I'm looking from south to north, that, and it went into the, the one on the right. That appeared to be at least a 727. We saw it a second ago. Here, it, here comes the videotape that we, we just showed you. You will see what appears to be a large plane. It could be a 727 right there, maybe even bigger, flying right into the side of the World Trade Center. It was at least a 727. I, it was a jet. I couldn't believe my eyes watching it right above me. And, and now you, you have to move from talk about a possible accident to talk about something deliberate that has happened here. We're going to immediately check with air traffic control in the area to find out if they had contact with either of these planes before the accident, but what we've just seen is, is about the most shocking videotape I've ever seen. What are the odds of two separate okay. planes hitting both towers? Elliot, are you still there? Hello? Elliot? Yes, I'm still here, Katie. So, Elliot, what can you see right now from, from your perspective? Um, I don't face in that direction. I can't see anything personally. It is completely impossible to understand why this is happening and to figure out what, the, what in the world is going on. I think we have to be grateful Ali that the first plane hit before 9 a.m., but it's now after 9 a.m., and I just wonder how many people well, were in those, those offices. Buildings fill up. Well, hopefully that they were evacuated following the first incident, and we can only hope that there was a very short period of time from when we first learned about this was probably about 8.50 Eastern time. This second incident occurred about 9.05. And so obviously that would be a short amount of time to get people out of the building. Mm -hmm. Ali Everhart is another witness who is on the ground. Ali, can you hear me? Yes, hello. Can, please tell me what you're seeing. Well, um, I live in Lower Manhattan. I face the North Tower, the north side, where the first plane crashed into the building. And right now there's a lot of chaos on the ground, a lot of emergency vehicles. Everyone from the World Financial Center has exited and is walking north up to Battery Park North. There's just mass and mass of people uh, walking uh, north uptown of Manhattan. Uh, I was happened to look on the first tower.